Hello, I'm Chris Overton and I'm the director of LEADER. I think the new normal in this film represents positive change. The pandemic has created so many uncomfortable scenarios around the globe, but we've also learned a lot of valuable lessons too, um, and I don't think we, we would have learned any of them if it wasn't for COVID. We, we've all witnessed some parts of the planet quite literally heal itself, and that's because you know, the, 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 the earth was given the chance to breathe. You know, nature has returned like it never has done before. Carbon emissions were lower. People have tried new things and ultimately it's, it's shone a light on, on the power of change. The new normal and the main message behind this film is, is to not forget the lessons we've learned. Let's continue them. So Leader is about the story of Donny who is an artist that uh, creates sculptures from ocean waste and he lives in complete isolation on a beautiful beach far away from the community. And kind of one day he realises that there's less and less plastic and ocean waste washing up on the beach. So therefore he's, he's unable to, um, to, to create his art. And then where Donny lives in this beautiful isolation is then discovered by the characters of Matt and Cindy who kind of really interrupt his piece. Uh, they're tourists and they discover his sculptures and are blown away by them. Time passes and more and more people eventually start visiting Donny and his sculptures and his remote location and that's when Donny meets little Izzy, uh, the little girl that kind of questions why there is so much plastic washed up on the beach. So he feels it's time for him to leave this location as it's not really what it once was. The piece has kind of gone, but he knows that this is a good thing, that he's kind of started an awareness and positive change, and therefore he's created the new normal without really realizing. The most important thing for me when shooting this film was to make the character of Donny believable. So that heavily relied on the actor that we cast, so we're, we're really proud of uh, the performance that Jack gave um, and I think he really brought some authenticity and something really unique to the part of Donny. Also the locations and the sculptures were hugely important. The locations had to be kind of a character of their own so we're really proud of what we found and the way the locations look on camera and the sculptures had to be impressive and, and I think they are shooting our first mobile film well <laughs> that that was a challenge uh, but it was a really exciting one and something that i really enjoyed there's lots of new challenges uh, presented to you when working on a phone but there's a lot of advantages as well and one of the things i liked the most was how easy it was to put the camera in positions that you wouldn't normally be able to if you were shooting on a big cinema camera so we took advantage of that we were able to, to get different shots that I don't think we probably would have been able to in the time that we had. I think mobile filmmaking has made making films so much easier. I, I definitely am surprised by the quality that we achieved. I think for, a, for upcoming filmmakers, you know, budget is always the, the number one thing that holds people back. You really can just be so creative with a phone. You don't need a lot of resources. Everybody has a phone and you really can achieve um, a very high quality. And I like to think Leader is, is proof of that. When you're in pre-production for any film, it always comes up what camera we're we gonna shoot on. And I never ever would have considered shooting on a mobile before. But now I think it will be in my library of choice. So I do think mobile filmmaking could potentially be the new normal.